Hello? Mr. McRoy, is it? I'll call you Richard, if that's okay with you. I'd like to welcome you to Wario's Fast Food Factory, Richard. Oh, I'm James, by the way. Nothing special about me that you need to know, really. I, uh, I like to code video games as a hobby. Although I'm unsure if I'm really good at coding video games, I at least I love doing it, you know? And I've always wanted to be part of something big. Something that affects people, you know? I hope I can put my video game coding to good use one day. But I was fortunate to be one of the minds behind the reopening of this factory here. That's something I'm very happy about. But anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Welcome to Wario's Fast Food Factory. A place with a dark past and a bright future, as we like to say. It's back in business, much thanks to your father, in fact, who invested so much and really kickstarted this entire reopening. The original owner, Wario, he... hence the name Wario, of course, he, he, he died uh, seven years ago, you see, back in 2007. Tragic stuff. This factory closed off then, following that tragic event, as you may know, but now it's back in business. It grew popular due to a unique secret recipe for fast food that Wario used, so <laughs> you bet we're using the very same one. Now you've been hired as a night guard in the factory. The job is quite simple. Be glad you're not here during the day shift, I tell you, where the machines have to be operated and all that stuff. All you really have to do is to keep an eye on things. It sounds vague, I know, but it, it's not that much more to it, really. You're currently sitting in the main office of the factory, and seeing as the place hasn't been used for many years, we cannot know for sure just how functional the old machinery is yet. Has everything remained intact? It's hard to say. That's why you need to remain in your office and watch over the factory using some brand new security cameras we've installed. Straight from Secure Incorporated. Just open up the pad you've been given and have a look around. Just make sure everything looks okay, pretty much. You only have so much power at your disposal at night, however. Try not to use all of it. Having that camera pad open drains some of that power, but even worse is the door to your left and the control room window to your right. As you have probably seen, we have installed some buttons you can use for each one of them. The red buttons will bring down strong metallic doors, and the white buttons will trigger lights in the respective doorways. Keeping these doors down drain quite a lot of power, as do having the door lights active. Please, only use these when you need to. When would you need to, you might wonder? Well, there have been rumors going around for years that this recipe that Wario was using, that, and that we are using now, was quite interesting to money-hungry thieves back in the day when the factory was up and running. So the doors, the lights, it's just for safety, really. Mandatory precautions, that's all. No worries. Just keep an eye on the camera pad, yeah? Otherwise, you should be good, I think, yeah. We are very excited for this new era of the Warriors brand. So, have a good night, Richard, and I'll give you a call tomorrow.
Hi there, James here again. I heard you did good last night. Well done, Richard. Remember, if you see anyone snooping around at night, you tell us about it, yeah? We don't want another uncomfortable incident, like... Um... Anyway, I, I heard from a co-worker today that you had questions about this place and its past. Well, the original owner, Wario, you know, businessman, he was kind. Yet he wasn't free of greed and stress, but honestly, who are, really? He was clever, and he had that boss-type personality, you know? It was him and his business partner, Waluigi, who started this factory and the Warriors brand as a whole. I don't know much about this Waluigi guy, aside from him being known as the sidekick, kind of, or as the less interesting one. But Waluigi is said to have been good with words. Charming, convincing, clever, but also insecure. Living in his friend's shadow, putting Wario in front of himself. You know, a people pleaser. That's how people described him. But also a people knower, apparently. He knew how to convince people, getting them to agree with him. That's probably why Wario chose him to be his business partner. The two of them made a good team, apparently. They started a cafe, 
That was the first thing, back in the 80s, you see, the late 80s. Wario's Cafe, it was their first business, and that's also where this secret recipe of his found its footing and grew popular. They closed it off fairly quickly, for unknown reasons actually, and the two men began in the video game industry instead a few years later, in 1990 I think it was. WarioWare Incorporated. You might have heard of it. It was quite a spectacle, and the ideas and products from there were impressive, to say the least. However, people called the place haunted. Rumors has it that even Wario himself claimed the building felt off. And WarioWare actually partly burned down a few years later, unfortunately. It must have been an electrical fire, I guess. But that's when they were able to found their third establishment, which was this very fast food factory. I think it was a lifelong dream of Wario to build this factory, and finally it was up. And things were going well until, you know, I told you the owner died. But that's not quite the entire story. He, Waluigi, along with three of their co-workers, completely disappeared one day. Gone. Nobody found them. Heard from them. Nothing. People had claimed to get strange vibes from the factory since day one, and the disappearance of these five didn't exactly lighten those rumors up. Some have even used the word cursed when describing this place. So what happened to them exactly? We, we don't know for sure. But I've talked long enough for tonight, Richard, I'm sorry. I just thought I would let you in more on the details of the past of your workplace, you know? I'll, I'll let you get back to work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night, yeah?
Hey, Richard! Fortnight is up, and you should be getting the hang of this now, I guess. Everything's good, right? You'd tell me if something was up. I have to inform you about some upgrades we have installed today. As you know, this factory was built on an old piece of land, yeah? There were remains of underground tunnels that Wario turned into this factory's current cellar. At some point, though, the, the tunnels down there become unstable. And the deeper areas down there seem to be way, way too unsafe to enter. So, you know, who, who knows how, how far these tunnels actually go, and who knows what they were originally used for. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you this because, well, <laughs> first of all, don't go down there, yeah? But secondly, we, we kind of heard noises coming from down there today. Footsteps, as some people here claimed. As well as singing. Sounds quite absurd to me, but, you know, take it as you want. We feared someone may have been trying to break in from below. Even though that, that should be impossible, of course. Or it could be animals down there. That, uh, we, we don't know for sure, but there were sounds coming from down there, most definitely. So just for safety, of course, we've put up some more cameras down there as well. You should easily be able to access them on your camera pad, just like the other cameras, so you can keep an eye out on stuff. Um, we, yeah, the, uh, the, the, light, the light situation down there, it, it's not good. Um... So, <laughs> why have cameras at all down there if you can't see anything, right? Well, there is an emergency solution for now. Using your camera pad, you can flash some lights we've installed down there. Just in case you hear someone walking down there, I mean. The cameras have microphones built into them, so you should be able to hear sounds they pick up through your pad, yeah? So, now and then, just take a peek at those underground cameras and listen if their microphones pick up anything of interest. Listen for a few moments though before you brush it off as nothing. For all we know, if there should be something down there, it can take a few seconds before anything moves at all. In addition to that, because the cameras are so far underground, there might be some audio delay from the cameras and to the pad you're holding. So, based on what we heard today, and what some people heard, just to be sure, listen for a few seconds, listen if you can hear anything that resembles walking, footsteps, singing, anything like that. And if you don't hear anything for two, three, four seconds, I'm sure it's good to go. And give the lamps down there a big flash if you hear something, okay? We don't really want anyone breaking in, so be careful, though. We're, we are on tight budget as well, so electricity at night is still limited. So here's the deal. Flashing those lamps down there, they, it drains quite a lot of power, if there's no movement detection in that room. So therefore, please use those flashes sparingly. Only use them if you hear something in that room, okay? We don't really want you to suddenly sit there in the darkness for half a night with no power left. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I'll update you tomorrow if anything else is to be reported, yeah? Good night.
Good evening, Richard. I hope you're well rested and ready for another night shift, yeah. I, I talked to a co-worker again today about your situation as the night guard and everything. And, you know, she, uh, she insisted that you had the right to know more about this place. And of course you do. So, you know, after the three establishments, the cafe, the micro game company and this factory, the owners and the workers disappeared in 2007, as I mentioned, but it has been rumored that a thief may have been responsible for the disappearance. It is said he was breaking into the factory to steal the secret recipe, you know, that I mentioned to you. Based on witnesses and the fact that Wario's mascot costume is still missing. It was a costume of himself, pretty much. A big costume, pretty much, that he used for ma yeah, mascot purposes, commercials and stuff. And we still haven't found it yet, even seven years later now. Based on that, it is believed that this hypothetical thief used this very costume because it is said that the thief he took the lives of the five in the process actual murders you know but as i mentioned no bodies has ever been found we do not know for sure if the thief killed them or if something else happened because the thief himself also disappeared never to be seen again six missing people richard it's all a mystery the thief is speculated to have been a man named Bruno, Bruno Gates to be exact, uh, he, I mean, the only evidence we have for that is his wife, uh, Dolores Gates, I think her name was, she reported her husband missing around the time of this incident, so, you know, you can make the connection that maybe it was the same guy? Of course, these are only rumors, yeah, but... If we're being honest, that's why the door mechanic was installed in our office in the first place. We don't want anything like that to happen ever again. I hope this won't scare you away, yeah? So we did some digging today in the factory. Quite, quite, quite literally, actually. There are depths of this cellar that are unsafe and they are blocked off, presumably by Wario himself when he was alive. But we found remains of Wario, Waluigi, and the three known factory employees. Diaries, lunchboxes, toolkits, and the like. As for the employees that went missing, being two brothers named Mario and Luigi, and a woman named Peach, we haven't found that much of interest yet. However, we tried reading through some of the diaries from the two owners, or at least what's left of them. The diaries are all torn up and dusty and much of the ink can't even be read anymore. But we did manage to make out some of Wario's latest entries in his diary where he, it, it, it basically talks about how he's very happy with the, the status of the factory, I can see. Yeah. And according to a line here, it is much thanks to the insane profits they made from WarioWare, as he writes, which allowed them to invest much more money in this factory. While Luigi's diary was interesting for me personally, it seems like the two of us have had a similar experience. A certain type of dream, to be exact. You can understand my surprise, I'm, I'm sure. This factory is quite strange, don't you think? Or is that just me? Like a, a subtle wind that doesn't feel familiar is blowing through these corridors. I wonder if your father too felt the same when he chose to fund this reopening. Or if it's all just in my head. It's late now. I'm rambling again, sorry. Forgive me, Richard. Uh, tell me if you have any questions, yeah? Have a good night.
Good evening, Richard. It's uh, it's James here again. Listen, I'll I'll get straight to the point. Um, I don't know if you've seen anything of that which I'm now referring, but I've seen things, okay? So earlier today, uh, my eyes have seen things I still cannot comprehend. Uh, there are faces in these walls. <clears throat> One face in particular, Richard. I'm not trying to scare you away. Maybe you already know what I speak of, but you haven't said anything in fear of losing your job. I don't know. Sorry to dump all this on you. I've just got a feeling I cannot shake off. A feeling of deep, deep dread. Maybe there's a reason no one has bought this piece of land before Wario did. Thinking about it, I, I don't even know if anyone else than him were ever allowed to buy this land for some reason. I called an old friend of mine, I, you know, anyway, I, st I started thinking, you know, about what I was seeing and the story about the factory and everything. So I, I called an old friend of mine, a guy who helped Wario set up his first cafe back in the 80s. I got curious to know more, you know. The horrific story from this factory, the things I saw today, the unfortunate set of events in the brand's past. Clearly, there has to be more to Wario than we originally thought, right? So, my friend, he, he told me that he too, in fact, had seen things uh, back in Wario's original cafe. Strange, unexplainable phenomenon. Anomalies. But with the rumors of the factory being cursed, the horrible incident in 2007, and the strange vibe we get from this place, the sightings I had today, the older caverns below this place, you know, one cannot help but make connections, and wonder if something deeper is happening. I don't want you to worry about losing a job, Richard. You can trust me. I too know there is something strange about this factory. It doesn't feel right at all. I'm on my way over to you right now, in fact. I'll take the night shift alongside you tonight, okay? I'll be there very soon. <laughs> Do you ever get that feeling, Richard? Like, uh, um... Like the air feeling off. The wind is haunting. Have I, have I been here before, Richard? Have, have we been here before? This dream... Is this now, Richard? Has this... So it's a myth, but now what is that? And now what is that? And what is that? Let's see if I'm ready.
<laughs> I don't really have enough power though. If I use it. Okay. Listen, listen. <laughs> Motherfucker. What, what do you do now? You're dead! Oh, f oh. I, I need I need I need to kill Power Browse. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. <gasps> oh, cutscene. Like that, bro. What are you That's Richard McRoy. Bro, oh, what the bro. Ass. bro, add animations in this game? Wow. We've got the
what it told the authorities to be like, yo, blow that fucking thing. Funny enough, they tried, but they were like, nah. Oh, by the way, it was by the government. This is by the government. I'm not done here yet. Hey, there was a joke. Uh. Mm. Is that where he possessed Richard? I know the story is like Luigi possessed the night guard and then the next game he's the phone guy. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm not finished yet, unfortunately. Yeah, I was like, it could be, it could be much more optimized. Nope, I I did twenty twenty mode before in this game, but I don't want to do it in this one. Let me see. You what? Did. Let me try it out. I don't like thing. I'll give it a shot. I, I I won't promise you I'll do it. Uh, I'll try. Okay. Well, you could just done the final night thing. I want to test it out. I'm gonna die either way, so. Okay. How ambitious are they? How ambitious, probably. Okay, he's moving very fast. Dude, he's moving fucking quick. He's making some. Mario's making some fucking distance on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear Peach. There we go. Okay. I'm I'm counting down on her. Dude. <laughs> It's a fucking distance out your ass. Oh, she moved. Where is she? Okay. Oh. I get it for three seconds. Oh fuck, I forgot about Peach. Nope, she's still there. Wait, what? Why is she not moved? That was weird. Okay, that's very strange. She has not moved. Now she did. <laughs> um, um, problem. Okay. Yeah. I'll do this another time. I'll do the final night though. <gasps> what is that? Door power Hello. meter? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, great. Well, welcome to Wario's, your new summer job. You are actually the first person to to work on this location as a night guard after reopening, so we really hope you enjoy your new job. You may have heard the rumors about an incident that happened about seven years ago, but you really shouldn't worry no, much about okay. that. Your job here is pretty simple. Check the security cameras to make sure no one breaks in, no malfunctions happen to the machines, you know, basic stuff. 
You can also close the doors on both sides of your office, as well as uh, turn on the lights in those rooms. It will cost power, however, so tr try to avoid it as much as you can. These are just safety precautions only, of course, so there's no need to worry oh. at all. There are, however, a few oh. locations that we need to go through. This is gonna we suck, are in it? the early stages of the reopening. Our budget is tight, proper installations, uh, I... they take longer than we thought, and therefore some of the technology here is a bit unstable. All cameras have a tendency to malfunction. Okay. They slowly go power. corrupt. It's so wire uh, stuff, I guess. Don't ask me, it's not my it area of expertise. But if you take meter. a look at one of your cameras on the pad, you'll see that camera's status. If it's normal, then it's all good. But if it's listed as unstable, it is starting to malfunction. So you should keep an eye out of that on all the cameras. You should reset the camera immediately. The if all you separate? This, you can do that through your pad yep. as well. If a camera is left on unstable for too long, it will enter critical stages where it will start to repeatedly drain big chunks of power at once. If it reaches unstable and especially critical, you need to reset the camera immediately. Otherwise, power supply will be quite an issue for you. The doors here are also finicky. It's an overheat error from the engineers. They promised to fix it, but they haven't done so yet, apparently. Basically, the thing is, when one of the doors oh, no. in your office is shut down, not only will it drain power as normal, but there is an overheat meter in front of you there that that meter will start to go up even faster if both doors are shut down. Really? Logically, you don't want that meter to peak, so should that happen, it will screw the doors up. The doors will become unusable for a while, and your limited power will take a huge hit. Be careful. The meter will cool down again when the doors are up, so try not to keep them down for too long. I think that's all. Sorry if I sound uh, unengaged or drowsy. I've had trouble sleeping lately, haunted by dreams of terrors I cannot remember when I wake up. And the weird thing is, that feeling of dread, it doesn't go away. It's still with me, now, while wide awake. Like an intuitive feeling of something bad that's going to happen. <laughs> Have you ever felt that? Sorry, this is non-work related. Oh, is it? I'll let you get it back to work and I'll try to get some sleep. Tomorrow is another day. I don't He's like dead. this. I'm just gonna say I'll flat he's dead. I don't like this. Um, the music though. Uh, Is this him? I would get out the camera. Is this just him? Power. I think so. Yeah, I think it's just him. Weird. Or in or when the time tunes on. Oh, I gotta check the other cameras. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really gotta check all the cameras, haven't I? I think I think what's gonna happen. That was a new photo, I think. Is that, is that fucking I really gotta look. He's there. Can you do it too soon? Damn, bro, you got the fat ass. He is a little thick 
Okay. But I wonder if it's like, if it's just him or as time goes on. Uh, I know it's 1 a.m., but still. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just him. Oh, unstable. It's unstable. You can't tell. The one thing that's like piquing my interest though is that like whenever, whenever you ever need to double the one. Yeah. Unstable, unstable. Hard to multitask a little bit. I hope that I hope like the break and my break fast a lot. I don't like the colors getting odd. Yeah. That was a close one. Oh, for a second. Second? Why is it second? Oh, wait, it's me more red. No more dizzy. It's me more red. Dizzy. As the hour passes by. I was starting to look more cloudy. I was going to door, 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 That was a good call though. I'm looking. It's not one. Five. Uh -oh. Damn, bro. Lay off the weed. Lay off the Zaza, bro. I can't see. This is hard. This worry was like blurry right there. Need a map. Check that camera. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty intense, actually. Hmm.
It was strangely familiar. A recurring dream has haunted me for years, coming back into my sleep time and time again. A nightmare with no obvious dream. The dream is a blur even after all times I've dreamed it. A room with dark walls, yellow lights, and barn. <coughs> Bengals. I don't know if I read that right. In a, in a soulless voice, echoing somewhere in the air. Somehow it felt known to me. I haven't thought much of the dream until yesterday. Wario was interviewed yet again. And I envy his popularity in his, in his ways of proudly fulfilling his vision. If only I were like him, I suppose. I'm lucky to have him besides me as a friend for life. Without him, I'm no one. I really felt that yesterday. I took a walk through the woods nearby the same night. Passing the lake hidden deep within the sky it was so clear. I could see the stars, many stars, so many stars so very clearly. I found myself just gazing at them for hours. They were so beautiful in the way my words cannot describe. Then all of a sudden, this feeling is so strange. Deep familiar hit me. Not all for the location, but for something else. Some may call it deja vu, but I wouldn't call it that. More like a flashback or a memory. That I had never had an experience of an encounter. I couldn't, I can't remember what kind of encounter it was probably. Some sort of being. If all I could recall. The feeling as well, I don't know if I can describe it. Either it was feeling a treat or freedom. Just like this strange room, I believe this was purely a dream. A dream that I have no clear memory of yet feels close to home. Gazing at the night sky must have triggered my memory of the dream. Regardless, I continue to admire the stars when it seems to be eternity. Waluigi, October 14, 2006. Well, I had a fucking spuzzle with the fucking pine symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Gone, man. I don't remember. Wait, is this another one? Is this the factory or the um, WarioWare they had? Oh. In the story, they mentioned all oh, one of the buildings burned down, but I don't remember which one. I assume it's the factory. Okay. Luigi, I never got. Oh, cool. Okay. The cosmo ones actually way better out of all of them. What the fuck? They're Smash Bros. Uh, character models. Be, but hell no! <laughs> oh, hell no! What? They look like they got retextured, and then you know, instead of using MS Paint or something, I, I say it's better. But I don't know. I can't. Like really actual say. models. I feel like it's like actual models though. Yeah. 